Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing St. Patrick's Day week. We actually have a brand new free patch update and this one is big. I said in yesterday's video, I cross my fingers and I hope that we start getting bug fixes and things from my wedding story soon and you know speculated a little bit maybe it's coming this week maybe it's coming next week after the brand new kit pack that was just announced and revealed recently well it looks like that wish is coming true so we have a brand new update today for pc mac and console soul soul simmers we hope you are safe and sound wherever you are right now today's update includes a range of bug fixes several new scenarios and the expansion of neighborhood stories as a configurable system that applies to neighbor sims through Throughout your game. As usual, thank you all for your continued support and feedback, and most importantly, have fun. Simguru Kuxaku. Of course, before we move any further, these patch notes and info on the latest update for The Sims 4 were written and posted by Simguru Kuxaku and The Sims team, of course, on The Sims forums. A link to the full patch notes can be found on my website, which is pinned in the comment section below. All right, so what's new? Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited to read this play with neighborhood stories okay so we already have neighborhood stories right but they said that they would be advancing on it and improving on it throughout time and it looks like we have our first update with that here ever wonder why those sims next door never move out or expand their family or die from causes other than old age well neighborhood stories is the answer last november we rolled out an update for everyone that added a set of life changes for neighbor sims who have a personal connection to your active household with this release, Neighborhood Stories expands to breathe more life into Sims around town without your Sims even having to know them. They're your neighbors or your Sims that live across town or even across the world. The Sims that you don't actively play now have story moments happen to them. This includes allowing neighbor Sims to die in accidents, have an adoption or baby, make changes in their career, or move in and out of lots. I was a little disappointed with this as I didn't actually see much impact of this throughout the gameplay. I don't know why, but I feel like this was just hyped up way too much like there was so much in those original blog posts and in those features when they announced this but it didn't really translate much into the game like I didn't really notice too much in terms of gameplay but I'm hoping now with this that things really begin to shift they continue but maybe you're saying I like the pancakes the way they are I don't want them to move or have children that's not my story don't worry neighborhood stories can be enabled for all sims in my households or other households or on an individual basis basis per household. Not only that, but each type of story can also be turned on or off individually. So you can turn off the pancakes from moving out or having children, but Bob can still change his career or die in a fiery accident. No, that is so good. That is amazing. That's exactly what we need. More customization and more ability to manipulate and change these settings. That's amazing. To change configurations, just select manage worlds in the options menu and then select manage households. From there you can choose either my households or other households and then configure the neighborhood stories by selecting the button at the top right for all the households in that tab or you can configure them separately per household using the neighborhood stories button in each household yes 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 thank you sims team yes this is what we've needed to see what changes have taken place each day go to a mailbox and select check recent neighborhood stories a notification will appear letting you know what changes have happened and see what's happening to the sims around the world no matter who they are and here is a little graphic promoting the new neighborhood stories or neighborhood changes pretty darn cool all right so new scenarios are also now available along with existing household support in select scenarios would you like to try out some brand new scenarios with today's base game update you can we've added seven new scenarios to the sims 4 when you boot up the game today you'll have access to too many toddlers wow troublemaker rom-com super rich super villain extraterrestrial researcher unlucky chef no skills no problem now here's the question are these scenarios permanent scenarios or are they limited time crossing my fingers that they're permanent scenarios but I do want to let you know right now that the amazing mod creator twisted Mexi actually has a mod on his website that um, makes these temporary scenarios permanent so you can have them forever so definitely go check out Twisted Mexi's website. I will have a link to that pinned down in the comment section.
section below. It'll take you to my website where then you can click there to go to Twisted Mexi's website. All right, in addition to these scenarios, we've updated the feature to add existing household support to select scenarios. You'll also notice several tweaks and improvements to various aspects of the feature. Take these new scenarios for a spin today. So we have bug fixes, lots of bug fixes. All right, so for the base game, we fixed an issue that caused wedding venues not to be available for base game weddings. Ah, so happy to see that fixed. If a new scenario is available, you will see a notification now after logging into the game. Opening and closing the scenarios interface in live mode comes with a proper animation now. Simmers should no longer see the happily ever after outcome for the engaged in conflict scenario when both sims have a good sentiment. The conditions for the too many to handle ending in the too many toddler scenario only apply to toddlers now that we're present when starting the scenario. We fix an issue for some languages that call scenario outcome text not to fit in the text box. The power couple scenario will conclude now when one of your sims receives a promotion to CEO, the audio response when starting a scenario in a new save game and canceling a scenario in live mode has been improved, the work task interface for your active career should no longer clash with the scenario interface when joining a career and moving to the workplace at the time of work. No, most of these issues are things that I've seen reported so many times by simmers in the community, especially on the forums and on Answers HQ. So it's like they are seeing what they're saying and they are listening to the simmers. We just have to give them the time to fix it and get these fixes rolled out. So that's just very good. There is a specific hairstyle that will now be visible in Create a Sim Catalog when the feminine fashion choice filter is selected. Fix an issue with scenarios where the requirement for sims to be spouses displayed as completed, although there was just one sim in the household. <laughs> Some of these were funny. The scenario name also shows in the start scenario interface. Now, when entering Create a Sim after starting a new scenario, the household requirements will no longer be be overlapped by the create -a -sim catalog and all information on the panel will be easy to read. Calling off an engagement will now count towards the villainous valentine aspiration correctly and better. We also made a few updates to the friendly calls from other sims that your sims receive. Your sims will no longer be called by a neighbor sim and asked about becoming friends with another active household sim your neighbor has never met before. It will also be much clearer for friendly relationship calls now whether the sim get together is of a platonic or romantic nature. And lastly for the base game, NPC sims will also have sufficient confidence now and will no longer call your sims asking for permission to be friends with their own spouse. All right, so up next is Seasons. Grim Reaper now possesses the emotional fortitude to deal with the death of two animals at the same time. Life can be harsh, buddy. <laughs> I know. Pants YM Bottom should now properly appear when selecting the masculine filter, we also updated the fit on feminine frames. The YF hair hairstyle should no longer create white lines on your sim's face when selecting this hairstyle and create a sim. Toddler shorts FP bottom no longer show a gap between upper and lower body. Wisteria and ivy plants placed against a wall inside a room appear darker in some spots than they should have. We shed some light on those plants and they should appear much better now. All right, so get famous we only have one fix lots in evergreen harbor should now have some proper ground beneath them when accessed through build mode and the world should not look like it's underwater any longer yes wasn't this fixed before i'm guessing that it wasn't fixed properly or wasn't fixed fully so now they've implemented this change again in this patch but just yes 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 thank you that is fixed cottage living lots in evergreen harbor should now have some proper ground beneath them so it's basically copied and pasted wait is this accurate the same exact fix for get famous is also under cottage living and and spa day and stranger bill and my wedding stories okay that has to be a glitch or a typo or is that actually really the fix were you guys also having the same issue from evergreen harbor that you were having in the world from cottage living but it doesn't make sense for spa day because there was no world there so i don't know why it says that there was a new world with stranger bill there was a new world with my wedding stories but i haven't heard of this issue happening in any other world other than evergreen harbor so hmm 
Hmm, kind of confusion about that. Oh my gosh, same with Romantic Garden Stuff Pack and Bust the Dust. Okay, let me just refresh this page because maybe that's an error. No, it's still there. That's so interesting. All right, Discover University, the YF Top now works properly with boots. Dream Home Decorator. Dress YF body no longer causes discoloration on certain shoes. GP10 skinny jeans look fabulous combined with boots now. And the YM bottom GP10 work pants should now be properly resizable on male sims. The mid-century style filter will include items from all packs now, not just from Dream Home Decorator. Switching from build and buy mode to live mode and back to build and buy mode while working on an interior decorating gig calls the amount of simoleons already spent not to be deducted from the client budget. This has been fixed now and the client budget should always account for already spent simoleons. Star Wars, we fixed an issue that calls back two credits to be falsely displayed as simoleons in the household funds. Strangerville, you can harvest bizarre fruits from bizarre plants now, mother calls to me. <laughs> okay, so we're getting these same packs again now. So maybe there were issues with the, what is it called? Oh, Evergreen Harbor World that also applied to these other packs. I don't know. I'm assuming that that's not a glitch considering we're now seeing, you know, Spotty, Dine Out, Strangerville and all this again here. Sims with the self-care specialist aspiration can sell harvestables without issues now. There was some discrepancy in person points shown for business owner sims in the own business menu versus the restaurant perks the own business menu will show the correct number of remaining perks going forward yes awesome lots of fixes with this i'm so surprised tyler should no longer have a bald spot on their head when wearing hairstyles from tiny living hair clippers should be stored outside the reach of children these toddlers are not middle-aged they should not be experiencing such problems so that's good that that's fixed blooming rooms kit some some plants from the Blooming Rooms kit were updated to not cast a wrong shadow any longer. And for Fashion Street kit, Pants YM Bottom do also no longer cause clipping when paired with boots. Lots of outfits having issues being paired with boots. There's a lot of clipping issues. I'm happy to see that being fixed with this though. And of course, lastly, the Star of Paradise Fountain can be found in the Build and Buy catalog now when applying the kit's filter. Let me know down below what you think of all this stuff, all these bug fixes, all these changes, all these improvements. I'm not seeing too much from my wedding stories, just a few things, but I'm sure that there's more coming soon, guys. Don't worry. I was definitely hoping that more of that would have been shown in this, but we still have next week and we still have the week after that. So just hang tight. I love you all so much. Of course, links to everything can be found in the pinned comment down below. I love you all so much. Thanks for clicking and watching and I'll see you all next time. So long and happy simming and happy para living. Bye guys. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.